Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. I need the script and the fans on. Today's video is sponsored by DistroKid. The other day I showed you how to finish songs, but what if you hit the dreaded, dreaded writer's, writer's, writer's block, 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 block. I've been there tons of times, but over the years I've learned a few tricks to get through it. Now there is a bunch. Unfortunately, I can't show you everything, so let's just get right into it. Let me show you the top three things that I do to beat writer's block. And as a little side note, these tricks are more designed towards EDM and future bass, but you can definitely take these concepts and apply them to different genres. Let's get to the first trick. I call this the one note wonder. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a piano and just start on a really simple note, on a single note. Just like that and it's like okay that's cool whatever I put a little rhythm to it as well so you can see and then what you want to do is you want to make a bass to keep it super simple. Like, I have just one note and I put a simple rhythm to it. Then we add the bass line to get it to complement and harmonize with that note. Once we have that set up, we can basically bring these notes into chord mode. So we can copy these notes down here and then using our one, three, five stack, which I talk about in my chord video, check that out. We can expand these into full chords. Do a little inversion, and we have something that looks like this. Another thing I like to do is to add the seventh and the ninth notes on top of these chords, but when I started listening to the little pluck along with it, this this, this piano note that we had, that kind of fills that role anyway. So I decided to keep these chords a little simpler. And as you can hear now, we've got something a little bit fleshed out. There's different parts now and everything has its own place. Now for the lead, you wanna try and maybe pick a different sound, play around with the melody. And maybe even switch up the sound completely. So for this one, I picked a nice pluck. And you'll find that all together, you've got a really nice basis for a song. layer them together for a nice little effect. But what if you can't come up with a melody? This is when I go and I call one of my friends and we start collaborating. Collaboration is an amazing way to get your ideas started or to bounce ideas off of a second person. This is the fastest way I got better at doing music production through collaboration. When you come up with a great idea and it comes time for royalty splits, that stuff can get a little confusing. That's why our sponsor today, DistroKid, has a fantastic feature called Teams and that just lets you automatically pay everybody on your team. So that includes managers, collaborators, songwriters, everyone. It's free for all DistroKid members. You can add unlimited collaborators to your tracks. You can change the splits anytime and it's private too. So collaborators can only see the percentage that they receive. They can't see what you're getting or other collaborators are getting. Now, anyone who collaborates with you in order to use this feature does need a DistroKid account. But when you use the team feature and anybody joins your team, they automatically get 50% off their DistroKid membership. So that can be 
$10. So that's literally $10. And don't worry if you got a slow collaborator or someone who hasn't signed up yet, if you're hitting a release date, they won't receive money until they've signed up and you can still release the song without them. As always, DistroKid never takes a cut. You get 100% of the royalties on your original tracks. I've also got my VIP link. If you want to sign up for DistroKid, you can get 7% off your first year. So thank you. Thank you, DistroKid, for sponsoring this video and helping teams come together and collaborate. You know, if riding solo is more your style. Fly home, buddy. <laughs> collaboration might not be working sometimes. That's when I go to technique number three and I call it the fake remix. So when you're having trouble with melody or coming up with something melodic, sometimes it's easier just to work around a acapella and then work a drum group underneath it. It's easier to add something than creating something from nothing out of thin air. So sometimes I'll go through my loop packs or through splice and find something and then I'll just try to make drums underneath it so for example I got this one Running in circles to get away normally I might use a commercial song or something else but since we're in a video and I don't want to get copyright flagged I just found this one in the son holo cymatics pack Running in circles to get away if you can't think of like chords or anything to go around it, try making drums instead. Running in circles to get away. I'm in the same place. At the end of the day, another stiff drink in a dark. So for this one, I thought it was really cool that she had that line stiff drink, and I was going through a lot of sample packs and found this sound. Which is literally like a drink opening. I know it's super cheesy, but I wanted to incorporate those little percussion noises into the beat. So you try and make something groovy that'll go along with the vocal here. When you do a syncopated rhythm here, it's just to add a constant beat behind it, which is what I did with these hats. And just a little bit of delay on these Foley sound effects give it a bit more movement, and then EQ'd a little bit out so that they sit in the mix a little bit better. And of course, you can combine this with the one note wonder and next thing, <laughs> next thing you know, you got some. Next, what you can do if it's a commercial song and to make it the fake remix, I just take the acapella out and next thing you know, you have a instrumental. Or you can play around with more melodies. This has all the elements to make a build up. And even into a drop, but that's, I didn't spend any time on that drop, so we're not gonna show you that. But I can make that in another video, perhaps, maybe, if you want. This technique is awesome. I even have a few producer friends who have go-to acapellas where they just throw it into songs to just see if a vocal will work or to come up with grooves, melodies, and ideas just to kind of get over that writer's block. A friend of mine says he starts a lot of his melodic songs using acapellas, specifically this one. By some unknown singer who knows who they are. And it always turns out great for him. So try it for yourself. These techniques are great to get you started on your songs and get through writer's block. In a future video, I'm looking at taking these starters and showing you how to expand them into full songs. So keep a lookout for that. For now, getting the ball rolling and getting into the habit of creating shell after shell and starter after starter that you can flesh out is good enough. Because honestly, you can't go wrong at this stage. Getting the ball rolling and getting into the habit of starting songs is good enough. This this stage is really good for experimentation because anything you add probably isn't going to affect it too too much and if it sucks then you can just get rid of it and if it's awesome then heck yeah you've got forward motion these are so bare bones and such shells if you want to just scrap it and it doesn't sound good then then you can just do that easy peasy 
you didn't put like hours into it. So try these techniques out. See how many songs you can get started. That's gonna be it for me today. If you like what I'm doing, please, please, please like and subscribe to the channel. It's free and it helps me out. If you want to support the channel, shout out to all my patrons, all the true homies. Thank you for your support. If you want to support the channel, feel free to join the Patreon. I've got lots of goodies there. I do song feedback, you get stream VODs, and you get the treasure coffer with all of the goodies. Next month is gonna be sick. Follow me on all my socials, Twitter, Instagram. I see your DMs. But that is gonna be it for me today. I hope you start something cool. Peace out. Don't blame